Yikes. What the heck does yikes mean? Yikes means I just had to do something that was outside my comfort zone and very scary. Um, and I'll be honest, I wanted to just delete the videos and redo them, but I didn't. And I didn't for a very specific reason. I want people to see that I struggle with things just like everybody else does. So that someday when I actually figure all of this out, people can go back and they can look at the stuff and say, oh my God, Sharon, that was so bad. I can't believe that you even put that out without editing it or recording it. What I found with me personally, if I were to edit and record everything or, or edit and, and re-question everything, I would never get anything done. Um, our lives are too busy. We're living our lives. So I just, I do them and I cringed a little bit and I just am going to put them out there this morning. Um, I was doing some live videos for this 30-day um, strategic launch of a product, which is really a validation of what I've been doing all along. Not that I needed a validation of it, but it's always fun when you get a validation of your business plan and what you do and what you help people with. And as part of something that a company I'm associated with is doing, I'm also sharing a summary of the strategies that 30 different really successful people are sharing. And I wrote a little bit of a like introduction and script because Obviously, my stuff is unscripted and I need to get a little more strategic and a little more scripted and a, a lot more professional, right, in my delivery and my messaging. And so I wrote out a little script, but I hate it when you're just reading a script. I'm sure over the next couple of days, I'll have it totally memorized. It's just an introduction. So it's like, here's what we're going to talk about. Here's what you're going to learn. Here's why it's important to you and a quick summary and introduction so they have some idea of, of the context and what I'm talking about and then the outcome that they can expect and the action that they want to take so that they can get the outcome and the result that they can expect by just listening to this 10 minute um, summary of a really incredible business strategy. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never had a business strategy that could be summarized in 10 minutes. So I'm trying my best to do, do it a service. I actually use my note card today because I, you know, there's some key point things here that I don't want to miss. And I'm also providing people the actual detailed plan in our closed Facebook group so they can read it themselves and get all of the juicy details day by day, step by step, what they would do. But I want to be able to summarize it in under 10 minutes so people can decide, do I even want to go in and read that detailed strategy? Is that for me? Or did I just get the piece and the information I need out of that in the 10 minute summary so I don't have to dive deep into that one? But I'm sure along the way of these 30, there'll be at least a couple that people want to dive deep into and and really read the whole strategy, but they also can benefit by seeing the common threads that run through all 30 strategies. The common threads, the process, which is what I've been talking about all along, hint, hint, the process of how, the science of how you grow and supersize your business is the same. The process is the same. And as you, if you are so inclined to participate and listen to all 30 of the the programs like I am because I'm all about this, you'll see those common threads. And it's the power is when you see the common threads and you deploy those in your specific business. So I say yikes because I'm pretty embarrassed by the videos. I mean, my eyes are back to like some of my first videos where I look like I've got, what is that disease where your eyeballs are moving all the time? I don't know. I look like I've got that. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> And that's okay. I'll get better. I promise you all I will get better at my delivery and my less rambling and my more strategic messaging. And this is just one step in that direction. So I may very well have to re-record my video because it was 10 minutes and two seconds long. And I think the limit on Instagram is 10 minutes. And so depending on if there's any plus or minus and statistical variation on that, I may or may not be okay, but I may very well have to re-record that. And then I will try not to look like a psycho crazy eyed woman, but there's never any guarantee of that. I pretty much, what you see is what you get. I was telling somebody yesterday that I'm very whizzy wig. What you see is what you get <laughs> with me and, and with pretty much everything in my life and, and associated with me. And I don't apologize for that. I used to. I used to hide it and not, not be myself. But nowadays, boom, I'm out there. I'm just me. So I'm running very late to have that alarm go off. I've never had that one go off before. Uh, but that's, that's what I say yikes about because I'm like, oh, I 
just like everybody else, it's scary to do some of these things. It's scary to step out and do these Facebook Live or podcasts. It's scary, but we just do it anyway because we know it's the right thing to do. We know that there's people that we can help because if I can be the bad example for somebody that they're like, dang, I know I can do better than that, the crazy lady. I'm going to hop on Facebook Live or do a podcast now because if she can do it, I sure can. And I guess that's what I'm here for is to show you that seriously, if I can do some of these things that are scary, you can certainly do them too. So go out, make it a fantastic day. It's sounding like another totally rainy day in my neck of the woods. So I love those days. I'm I'm one of those weird people that loves rainy days because I don't feel guilty working that. <laughs> it's really funny stuff. Most people want an excuse to get out of work. I want an excuse to be able to work as much as I want. So if there's rainy weather, that's my excuse to work. So What's your excuse to do what it is that you want to do or that you love to do today? Go ahead and use that excuse and you don't even have to. Just be yourself and have an awesome day. I will see you tomorrow with hopefully a less embarrassing version of videos and version of, of who I show up as. Be you. Be loving. I like to say, be loving, love being, be you. It's one of my favorite to myself sayings. And I'm thinking I should share that more often because that's what life is all about. All right. Bye.